You're here, I'm here. Good music here to be played and to be talked about. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'll be ever so grateful. I'm Alan, this is Alan Reacts. See you on that side of the tape. Hello all, welcome back to the channel, it's Alan Alan Reacts. This is not a reaction, it's a song I know, so it's kind of an analysis, a look back, a dig around, a poke at the song, The Clash. The Clash. This is by Rolling Stone. Oh God. It's the 28th most important band of all time. It doesn't matter where they list in importance, it's what matters to you. Yeah, you can have these charts and tables and fundamentally it's your choice, my choice. But yeah, a band that... We're still talking about almost 50 years after they were formed and like 40 years after they were disbanded almost. Uh, John Graham Miller, Joe Strummer, Jones, Ed Al, The Clash, I Fought The Law. This is from Airbrush Rocks. She's put this video up there so we can show some love. But I don't normally do live videos because normally there can be a, a, a real horror story when it comes to sound. But I'm taking a chance with this because it's live and I just want that feel of that song live and then we'll get into it it's not a long song but there's a few things that because this has got a hell of a story hell of a story and things that's been used for and who wrote it so let's get into it Little side story, Joe Strummer, where did he get his name from? Because it's not his real name. He used to play the ukulele and he thought he had the, 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 the fundamentals. He was a very rudimental sort of basic ukulele player by his own standards. So the strummer, Joe Strummer, it's kind of, does it get more rock and roll? The ukulele, great instrument. But yeah. It always makes me wonder, it was written by Sonny Curtis in 1960, after the demise of Buddy Holly and the, and the, the crickets, they should be on the channel because three chord bands don't get much better than Buddy Holly when he wrote his songs, but obviously more than that, then you get to like Green Day and that, three, four chord songs, and that's not relevant. What's relevant is none of it's new, and Sonny Curtis wrote this in 1960. Yeah, so how did he write a song? that Bobby Fuller for, I think, and then later The Clash. But let's just pull that, because it's a lovely raw opening. It's got that whole sort of rockabilly scar feel to it, you know? You can just hear it as a country song or a blues song. Yeah, it, it, it's got that. These are the consequences to my actions. But I did them anyway. Yeah, and I continue to do them because I fought the law and the law won. And it's really sort of an analogy and uh, it's sort of a, it's an overarching statement of rebellion and I guess. But I don't think this was released in America as a, this was the first single The Clash released in America. 
um, off the album Give Them Enough Rope. So you guys are watching because you, you all know, was this your first taste or were you getting the sort of imports from the sort of new wave scene? That had been kind of started with Blondie and that. I mean, there was the whole thing going on both sides of the water with this underground New York scene, the underground London scene. It was kind of evolving and emerging. Um, you know, you can lay claim to fame for any of it, but it kind of doesn't matter. There was a scene going on in that sort of 77, 76 onwards. But yeah, it didn't get released till 84. And in the, in, in, I think 80, could have been 82, 84 in the States, possibly after the band had actually broken up. Yeah, after the, the, the passing of Joe Strummer. But I don't know. You're going to have to check me on that, guys. Fact check me on that. I'm not claiming it as a fact. It's just my memory. Yeah, but great. Great sound. I just wonder in the crowd at that time, those young rebels, if they knew that basically it's a very structured, straightforward song, the, the sort of chorus repeats, and the central theme really is loss and regret, defiance against authority. And I left my baby and it feels so bad, and I lost my girl and I lost my fun. This isn't a song of essentially celebrating rebellion, it's a reminder that everything has consequences. Yeah, it's very direct about that. The lyrics are very clear about that. The song's very clear about that. But I'm not sure at the time if it was more about, yeah, a big F you to the law, because look at me. You know, it really wasn't. It was saying, you can do that, I suspect, but here's the consequences. And I wonder if, if, if Sonny Curtis, when he wrote this song, if he imagined that 40 years later, somewhere around 30 years later, that the US military would play this when they were trying to oust Noriega from a... Uh, some sort of center, they played this song on loudspeakers to the people inside, you know, and I don't know if the Clash would have enjoyed that either or just found some irony in it. But you could write a whole, I guess somebody has written a book about Sonny Curtis, definitely books about the Clash, definitely um, uh, an icon. Yeah, they are genuinely iconic for me. I don't know what you guys think. But I've always loved this song, and I've always kind of felt it meant something different than what I was hearing, you know? And when I look back now and I think about it at an older age, yeah, you can be a rebel, there is, but there's the consequences to your actions, and you'll lose probably a lot more than you gain. Because if you fought the law, the law wins. No matter which side of the law you're on, it wins. What a great song. What a great reminder of how great the clash are. Guys, I enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, join in, let me know. I hope this comes out right. I hope it doesn't get blocked. If you've seen it, it didn't. Till next time, take care. This is Alan Reacts. I'm Alan, your host. If I've earned your subscription by the end of this video, I'll be ever 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 so grateful but most of all i want you to have a good time i'm alan this is alan reacts see you on that side of the table